What's up, guys? Kyle here with No Tie Required. All right, so we are back with more cryptocurrency talk, back by popular demand. We are talking today about Ripple. Let's go. All right, guys, yes, so we are talking Ripple today, but before we do that, smash that like button if you like what we're doing on this channel and you want to see more of this. Comment below, I want more crypto if you want us to continue to keep bringing these cryptocurrency videos for you. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps us out, but it also helps out the entire space. The more people that we get educated on cryptocurrency and get investing into it, the larger it grows and everybody benefits from that, right? So without further ado, let's jump into it. I've been getting this question a lot. Am I invested in Ripple, also known as XRP? Not currently, no. Have I before? Absolutely. Uh, back in 2017, 2018, um, I rode it all the way to the top to its all-time high of like $3.20 and some odd cents um, and then was able to sell it for a nice profit. And then, yes, I did buy back in uh, when it dipped back down below. Um, and recently I did end up selling it. Why? Well, if you watch my video yesterday about Stellar Lumens, you know that I'm very, very bullish on Stellar Lumens. I think the XLM is going to be a huge, huge winner during this bull market. Them and Ripple are very, very close in terms of what they do. The main difference between them is that Ripple is focused on the banks, whereas XLM Stellar is focused on the unbanked, okay, the, the you know, the pop, part of the population that doesn't have access to banking and everything. So, Excuse me. Honestly, I was very bullish on both of them. The reason that I'm 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 still somewhat bullish on Ripple, just not currently, is because of all the SEC filings um, against them that came out back in December. Anybody that doesn't know, basically, the SEC filed a lawsuit against Ripple back in December, caused a massive chain reaction of a lot of events happening. Basically, the Ripple price started tumbling. Um, they were being delisted from exchanges, all sorts of stuff. They were and they were they were on the basically the biggest exchanges out there. Um, they were one of the easiest cryptos to actually get your hands on um, up until recently, and it's become a little bit tougher because of all of that. You know, panic kind of set in, and people started selling it off. Um, it actually kind of looked something like this: Stark Industries. I've got one recommendation. Ready? Ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Sell, sell, sell. Abandon ship. Does the Hindenburg ring any bells? <laughs> Let me show you the new Stark Industries business plan. Look, that's a weapons company that doesn't make weapons. <laughs> Guys, all jokes aside, I know we, we like to have fun on here. We like to joke around, show some movie clips and everything to, to show that. But um, there was a lot of panic about what was going on with Ripple. A lot of people uncertain how low it was going to go, what was going to happen with it. It has had a little bit of a bounce back, and we're going to talk about that here in a minute. I'm still not currently invested in it at the time. Is it something I, I'm keeping a very close eye on? Absolutely, because look, at the end of the day, Ripple uh, was and is a great project, okay? Um, you know, the SEC news obviously didn't help its case. It hurt it. Um, I'm going to be curious to see how far that goes. Will it be something that they try to settle out of, out of court? Will they end up going to court? What's going to be found on it and everything? I do know that the other day Ripple actually did just respond back to all the SEC allegations. Um, you know, so we'll see kind of how all that plays out. And that's what my strategy on this is, is I'm kind of sitting out on the sideline and, and just kind of waiting and seeing. Um, real quick, I want to dive into the charts. We'll, we'll take a look at that, and you guys can see the potential of this thing when it really does run. Uh, so let's dive right in. All right, perfect, guys. So, yes, as you can see right on here, um, you know, back in 2017, 2018, I mean, yeah, Ripple, you know, I when I first bought into it, it was right around, oh, it would have been right around like 50 cents somewhere in there. And yeah, I mean, it had a nice run up all the way to, can I get it to stay on there? I can't get it to stay on there exact, but it was like $3 and yeah, oh, I, yeah, I did have it, but $3 and 20 some odd cents, I believe was the all time high. I didn't sell it quite at that. You know, it's very tough to time, you know, the top and bottom of the market, but I sold, I want to say when it started going down from the 325, I think I sold mine about 275 somewhere in there because it didn't show any signs of recovering. You know, it, it started going back down. So I made a nice profit on it overall. And then, you know, I did end up buying back in um, once it dipped down and everything and kind of played around with it over the last little bit. And then, you know, really, I was actually planning on loading up for more for this bull run. And then that news came out and that kind of changed my plans. So I moved a lot of that over into Stellar. You know, I moved it into Stellar because I looked at it just as I said in the video yesterday. I think Stellar is going to take up some of that market share. I do think Ripple will be back. I don't think that this is, you know, the end for them or anything like that. So I'm keeping a very close eye on it. But I want to bring up this article right here, too, because this is from uh, BitNews Today. 
just came out oh the 11th of February, so just a couple of days ago, basically, Ripple did respond to the SEC claims, um, and they had a little bit of a pump. You know, if you look at their price over the last week, they've jumped about 40 percent ish somewhere in there. So they had a nice week this week, um, and you look, they returned to fourth place. They had um, conceded that to Cardano. Um, they're back up in fourth. Uh, they've established themselves back up in there. So you know, could they be? Prime to go on the upswing. We're going to keep an eye on it and, and check until I have confirmation that all this stuff with the SEC is taken care of. They're back on exchanges like Coinbase and some of those large ones like that where trading can resume on there for Ripple if they do get back on there. Um, then it's definitely something that I'm interested in. For the time being, like I said, it's just it's it's so volatile and it's so tough to be able to tell because they were delisted on so many exchanges that really really hurt um, the the availability of everything, the ability to get it, the ability to be able to sell it and trade it, um, really made it very difficult. So we're gonna, like I said, we're gonna kind of play it by year. We're gonna see what ends up happening, um, but it is something I'm curious about. So no, I'm I'm not invested in it currently. I am definitely more bullish on on similar projects like Stellar, for instance. I you know if if you haven't watched that video, I'll link it up above right here. Definitely check out Stellar because I do believe Stellar is a great project. Um, and once again, guys, this isn't professional financial advice. This is just my opinion on the matter. Um, you know, just me kind of giving you my thoughts on it and everything. So not as bullish on Ripple as I was. However, if they can get through all this, well, we'll see. It might might go back in the other direction. As always, guys, diversify your holdings. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversify your holdings, not only in crypto, but also in life in general. Diversification is key. Speaking of diversification, this video was brought to you by Retail Underground. We're going to drop a clip right here for you to be able to check out what Retail Underground is. If you want more information, it's going to be the first link below in the description. The key to financial independence is through diversification of money. The days of only making money one way are gone. Are you tired of gurus telling you how to make money? Well then, say goodbye to paying hundreds or even thousands of dollars for expert info or for a course on how to make money. And welcome to Retail Underground, a revolutionary all-in-one live streaming platform hosted by two million dollar sellers in brick and mortar retail and online sales. We have live streams that not only are engaging, but incredibly informative. You'll learn the something new every day, whether it's selling on Amazon. We've done that. Building a million dollar brick and mortar retail empire. We've done that. Investing in the latest cryptocurrency. We are sharing all of our trade secrets and you'll have fun along the way. Click on the link below for a free 10 minute webinar and begin your journey to financial independence.